Hi, this is Paul with ggforthewind.com, and today we'll be taking our first 10 look at the beta version of UTV True's Faxion Online. Immediately after launching the game, we have this option to choose our afterlife. Not particularly sure what this is. Perhaps it's our class. It seems to be our faction. And now we're at character creation. And a floating maze. This guy seems to have gone Super Saiyan. Response is quite slow on changing these character types. And I'm not digging the female characters, but I am digging those floating weapons. That's that's kind of trippy. I'll scroll through a few more classes here and then just pick something. We have wings. Curious to know whether or not we'll be able to use them. This guy just doesn't look fierce at all. Let's find someone with a sword. This guy has a sword. Again, he doesn't look that fierce. Let's see if we can give him another head. So we can change our hairstyle. Was that really just called the Karate Kid style? Yes, it was. Apparently someone hasn't seen Karate Kid 2010. So they definitely have a significant number of hairstyle options, but not too many actual character customization options. Sand so facial hair, we have a fiendish goatee, trimmed beard. Oh, now this is interesting. For our hair color, we just hover over the, the color picker here. And I can't really see any change. Oh, there we go. Give him kind of some glowing white hair there. It's like we can also do the same for our skin tone. And that guy is getting impatient with me. Let's hurry before he decides to destroy me. Give our character a name. And we'll be on our way. For a four minute character creation process, we really didn't get that many customization options. But again, this is the beta version, so let's hope that they add a couple more into the full version. So as our game is loading now, so far I'm not too impressed with the level of graphics that I've seen. And I am even less impressed with this. It seems that we're missing some textures on the... Oh, now it loads. So the textures take a little while to load. 
Apparently, we do not use the mouse to walk. Arrow keys. Response is kind of sluggish. This guy is big. We've reviewed another game that had really big NPCs. Let's try to talk to this guy. And he's apparently going to give us our first quest. Our quest is to find the identifier, which looks like she is back here. At least the running direction changes as we pan our camera. But again, response is actually not that good. We cannot speak with her from that distance. God, she's massive as well. Let's see if we can speak to her from here. Excellent. So we've completed our first quest. And we've accepted our second. Well, at least it puts a marker over the quest NPCs so that we know where to go. World seems rather small right now. It seems like we're trapped here in this. And we have received all of this stuff. Let's see what all of this stuff gets us. So we've got our backpack here, uh, character. I thought we just got armor. I'm not finding the armor. Do you really expect me to go out and fight things in a tattered shirt? We have another beta tester here. Well, we only have forward and backwards on our our run options. What one would normally presume to be the left and right buttons actually pan the camera. Seems like this guy is our next target. We have obtained a weapon. And we have leveled up to level three. I believe I saw our next target standing somewhere off to the side. Excellent. But before that... Let's see if we have actually... Ah, we do. We have a weapon. Good. Let's see if we can equip that here. Might need to bring up our character sheet to do that. So we have a sword now. I... I don't think we received our armor. Speak to this person. Complete our next quest. You know, for as big as that NPC is, we should have been able to speak to them from further away. Now let's run back over here to the armor and see if we can get... Oh, we can move backwards. Very carefully walking backwards. I feel cheated. We didn't get any armor. And the person has nothing to say to me now. Excellent. Well, thanks for nothing, jerk. Not quite sure where we're supposed to be going now. Maybe we're going to leave. Let's head through the glowing arches here. I 
I know we're running a bit over time. I would like to actually see a bit more of the game than just what we've had here. We have a portal here on the ship. We'll head towards that. At least he's smart enough to run around the posts. So again with the loading screen. I must say that from the character creation and intro quest, I'm not impressed. And still waiting. Still waiting. The wheel has begun to turn. And turning. I'm running out of things to say. I don't want to continue commenting on the wheel. We can look at this image that we've got in the loading screen while we wait for it to load. It seems like some kind of domed building overrun by vegetation. The sky is an ominous dark cloud. But you see a bit of brightness off to the right. Maybe that's foreshadowing. And we have a floating sword. Okay, so we have guides and tips. Um, I didn't... This guy is running on his own. He really, he's running on his own. I... I can't stop him. He... Please stop running. There. He stopped. I... I think I was supposed to speak to that person, but my character decided he wanted to just go out and run. <laughs> We're gonna head back here to the guide of the finders. Please don't do that again. That's annoying. Okay, so he gave us again all this stuff. Did we actually get anything that we can wear? Hell no, we didn't. Wait, what? Our sword is a noob stick. Yeah, we're going to do a lot of damage with that. Let's go and slay evil with our noob stick. Well, I've seen quite enough for right now. We can't spin our character to where you can get a good look at his face. Let's see if we can set him to auto run again. No. Okay, well... This has been Paul with ggforthewind.com, and this has been your first 10-minute look at Faxion Online's beta version. It's quite obvious that they have a ways to go with this. Thank you, and... For the best MMORPG videos, reviews, ratings, news, and more, visit ggforthewind.com.